Okay, ladies and gents, welcome to the next installment on our AC motor controller. Um, I'm uh, basically waiting on an encoder plug from EVTV, so in the meantime, I had a look at a local, uh, well they're not, they're not a local, they're a um, quite a worldwide electronic supplier, uh, Radionics. And I got a plug that, uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, should have been a perfect match for the encoder connector uh, on our Siemens motor. But of course, as with all of these type of plugs, uh, with kind of uh, hundred digit part numbers, I must have made a mistake somewhere and uh, it didn't quite fit. There was a little locating tab on one side of it that needed to be in a slightly different location. So uh, made a mod with the uh, grinder and it seems to fit. But of course then all the pin numbers were all incorrect. Uh, so what I had to do is I got a print out uh, from the Siemens manual of the encoder plug and basically had to solder it on the motor, so I had to push the center of the uh, uh, plug into the motor and basically then just had to rotate the drawing like this and just use this um, pin out here, ignoring the pin out in the actual uh, motor, uh, in the actual uh, plug that I had purchased. So. That gives us our uh, seven wires. See, I've just written in colors there. Uh, so we have UA1 and UA2 are our um, encoder outputs. Uh, power supply is five volts, ground is ground. With our two temperature sensors, uh, type KTY84s. So we have our uh, and encoder powered. So I just thought it might be useful for people uh, to know how to do this. So we have five volts going in uh, just from a power supply and uh, it's drawing the encoder draws about 16 milliamps um, at five volts uh, so that's good to be aware of that. Now <clears throat> I connected my scope up uh, and spun the motor and I was quite disappointed to see that there was no signal. So took a bit of a flyer on it and I ran a 10k resistor uh, from 5 volts to the encoder output uh, thinking that it might be a open collector uh, type of signal and let me see if we can see this here. And uh, let me come in get a bit closer. I've got a real spaghetti junction here, I'm afraid. And lo and behold, now uh, when I actually spin the motor, we get a nice uh, square wave on that encoder output. Uh, five volts uh, peak. So that is how we get our encoder signals uh, working. So you need a 10k pull up uh, to your actual um, encoder pin and uh, that basically gets you your square wave. And that is uh, 64 pulses per revolution. Uh, so our next job now is to uh, get that connected into the infer inverter. Okay, folks, I think I've hit a bit of a milestone here. Uh, I've got the encoder rigged up just on a very crude uh, voltage divider circuit uh, feeding into the inver inverter. Uh, we're powered up here. I've just been tweaking some of the parameters with the laptop. And uh, this thing is kind of starting to scare me. So I'm just going to ease on the throttle a morsel here now. Here we go.
Holy crap! Just did a bit of regen there, I think. Wow. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm just running from a couple of uh, small AGM batteries here. Just five of them in series, lead acid. Uh, so no real serious voltage. Let's try that again. I'm going to throw off the piece of tape, I think, at this rate. Oh, Nelly. It's running. Oh my good god. Let's ease off the throttle. Regen mode. Wow. Oh boy. That's, uh, I think it's Miller time, folks. Um, and let's see if I can get this, uh, see if I can get this scope here to measure uh, frequency for me um, measure uh, it's, a, it's a fairly noisy waveform but I think there's a good bit of filtering going on here so let me see if I can just dial this in a bit here we go again Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to try and hold it there. And I'm in a bit of trouble locking in on the frequency of the encoder, but holy moly. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, that looks like it's spinning. Let's see, these are into the regen zone. Well, here we go, the pumping contactor. What causes that is if we get a current spike, it uh, causes the overcurrent protection to kick in, so we got to tweak another parameter here. Basically, gonna let the motor spin down by itself now. I think and only when it spins down. So that's an annoying element, all right. Had to have it on camera, of, co of course. Uh, we should be able to stop it just by pull that wire out. There we go. Let that spin down. But oh, wow. Um, that was pretty intense. Uh, I'm going to have to see if I can dial in a filter on my scope here. Let's see if I can. Let me see here for a second. Filter. Uh, type low pass upper limit. Let's dial it down mega. Okay, that should slow things down a bit. Let me try a quick uh, parameter change here on this uh, menu off and measure utility. Wow, okay. Uh, Let's try 170. I mean, I'm just pulling these figures out of my backside here. Really have the clue what I'm doing, which is helpful. Uh, let's try again. Okay, we're on. We're back in business. Let's give it some. Give it some throttle. Oh, it's it's moving. These are off into regen. Okay, bit better that time. Let's bring her up into the power band. Come on, beautiful. And back to regen. Beautiful. 
Okay, um, let's see if we can get a frequency on that. He's in Orion. It's a nice ramp on it. Oh, Nelly. Oh. Okay, let's try and hold her there. No idea what that RPM is. I'm reading 4.4 kilohertz there, so we need to figure out what that means in relation to 64 uh, ppm. Let me get a um, clamp meter on the battery cable here for a second, because uh, I think that's regening. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. In which that would be another uh, first for the uh, Yoda clan here to have regen. Mm, let me see, how do I do this thing? Or... Oh god, it's too late at night to be doing this crap. Um, I don't do so well when I'm tired. <clears throat> uh, what am I doing? I don't know. Uh, come on, goose, think, think. Um, yeah, multimeter, clamp meter on battery lead. Okay. Right, uh, so multimeters on battery lead. Give it some throttle. Okay, we're moving. Getting uh, about 2 amps battery current. 10 amps, 20 amps, 30 amps, 40 amps. Okay, 10 amps of cruise. And let's let her back. Oh yeah, we're regen. Let's put a peak of about 20 amps back into my wonderful lead acids. Um, the scope signal quite noisy. I would say we are picking up uh, both from the switching regulator on that control card and from the actual switching of the transistors as well. Let's give her some juice. Here we go. Ooh boy, that's fast. Okay, 8 amps at cruise, whatever that is. It's damn fast. Uh, let's goose her into regen. Ooh, look at that. 30 amps of regen. Okay, now I'm going to do something crazy and stick my finger in between the transistors. It's a good job we're only running at 60 volts here or you'll be hearing me screaming. That heat sink is absolutely stone cold even between the transistors. Um, which is good news, but it's a big lump of aluminium, so it's probably going to take a bit of energy to heat it up. Um, I could stay doing this all night, but then I would, wouldn't be in a position to go to work tomorrow, so not that that would be a big deal, I suppose, considering uh, I could just phone in and say, uh, you know, sorry guys, couldn't come, come in today because I was. Uh, too busy spinning this thing up to 9,000 RPM. Let's have to see this again. Oh, I'd better save the parameters as well now that I've guessed them uh, reasonably correctly. That piece of tape isn't liking that. Remember? Man, that's smooth. I mean, uh, the laptop would probably be giving me some data here in terms of. I think it does. Oh, God. Sorry about this video, by the way. It's probably going to be my worst yet. It's just that I'm kind uh, of half asleep here doing this. I think this gives some RPM data. I think this gives some RPM data. Does it give RPM data? Um, ATR, I think, does that. No, I don't think so. Uh, hang on. F slip main, F slip max, pole pairs. Pole pairs are two because we're a four pole machine, so that's correct. Um, our max frequency is 200 hertz. Uh, what does 200 hertz do four pole? Uh, uh, four poles 50 hertz is 1500 rpm so 
six 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 thousand six six grand. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. So that's about in theory if if that uh, hey, yikes if that is reading properly, and when we go to full throttle, we're getting about six k out of, out of this thing. That is just so smooth, though. Okay, I'm reading on my scope here, if it's halfway right, about 4.7 kilohertz uh, on my 64 ppm encoder, or PPR encoder, I should say. So, uh, let's back into regen mode. Ah, here we go again. Ah, it's never a dull moment. Thank you. Right, so I have another parameter to change. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off here. I think I'm going to knock it on the head. Um, but this is fun. Uh, I think we got ourselves a winner here. So, stay with us. Thanks for watching. And uh, apologies for being half asleep. Talk to you all soon.